hello you are welcome how to solve this nice algebra equation from here to get the value of x first we can write this as 3 raised to the power x then all square this same thing this same thing as 3 raised to the power 2x because this power multiplies then my you know, 3 raised to the power x equals to 6 then from here we have 3 raised to the power x common so we can say let y be equals to 3 raised to the power x then from here we write this equation in terms of y then we have y square minus y equals to 6 so we take this 6 to this side to form an equation and this will give us y square minus y then minus 6 equals to 0 then we can solve for y in this quadratic equation with any method we desire of course we should be able to factorize here so when we multiply this and this we have minus 6y square then we break it down into two factors such that the sum of the factors will give us minus y so we have minus 3y plus 2y of course the product of this is minus 6y square and the sum of it is minus y so therefore we can replace this minus y now with minus 3y then plus 2y so this will now give us y square minus 3y plus 2y then minus 6 equals to 0 then from here from these two we factor what is common of course y is common here we have y minus 3 left then plus what is common here we have 2 then y minus 3 left which is equals to 0 then from here we have y minus 3 come on let's take it out y minus 3 then what is left here y then left here is 2 then equals to 0 so we have two cases here we have is either y minus 3 equals to 0 or y plus 2 equals to 0 so from here y is equals to 3 and from here y is equals to minus 2 and we represented y as 3 raised to power x so we can say that 3 raised to power x now is equals to 3 then from here we can also write this as 3 raised to power 1 the base are the same now then we can equate the power then from here x is equals to 1 from here x equals to 1 and on this side we have y 3 raised to power x equals to minus 2 of course here is not possible this is greater than 0 a number greater than 0 a number less than 0 so we reject this side and there is no solution here then from here we have x equals to 1 to be the solution now we can check to confirm if this solution satisfy the given problem that is we have 3 raised to the power 2x minus 3 raised to the power x equals to 6 and then we got x to be equals to 1 so let's put x equals to 1 here now and check of course 2 times 1 is still 2 we have 3 square then minus 3 raised to the power 1 is still 3 is equals to 6 then from here 3 square is 3 times 3 which is 9 9 minus 3 is equals to 6 of course when we subtract we have 6 on this side which is equals to 6 on this side then we can conclude that x equals to 1 is the solution to this problem thank you for watching please share this video also give a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on thank you for always there see you next class then bye for now